hello everyone welcome back to our channel today in this video tutorial we will learn how to set up sftp server on ubuntu 24.04 lts system sftp stands for secure file transfer protocol it provides a secure and reliable method for transferring files between the systems over the network in order to set up sftp server we need the following pre-install ubuntu 24.04 instance a local user with sudo rights and internet connectivity. Alright, let's jump into the actual steps. The first step is to install OpenSSH server. SFTP is a part of OpenSSH server package. So, in order to set up SFTP server, we must install OpenSSH server package. If it is already installed on your system, you can skip this step. If it is not installed, then use the apt command to install it. Then the first command sudo apt update. This will update the repository's index. Next, then the command sudo space apt install open ssh hyphen server hyphen y. This will install the open ssh server. Once the OpenSSH server is installed, start its service using the command sudo space systemctl start ssh. Enable this SSH service so that the service will become persistent across the reboot. Run systemctl space enable space ssh. Now verify thus ssh service status and the command sudo space systemctl space status ssh the output confirms that ssh service is up and running next step is to create sftp group and a user to manage access to the sftp server it is a good practice to create a dedicated sftp group and a user in our case, we are going to create a group with the name sftp underscore users using the command group at. Let me clear the screen first. Then the command sudo space group at followed by the group name. So group name is sftp underscore users. Hit enter add a new user and assign it to the sftp uh, underscore users group for that you can run the command sudo space user add hyphen m hyphen caps g followed by the group name is sftp underscore users hyphen s is for shell slash users slash sbin slash no login and username is a sub tp user what this command will do this command will create a sftp user this user will be the part of this group and its shell is user has been no login this cell user has been no login ensures that user cannot login via ssh but can use sftp so hit enter next assign the password to this user for that run sudo pass wd followed by the username sftp user hit enter set the password next edit the sshd underscore config file add these parameters to the end of the file these parameters are required to set up the sftp server so copy these parameters and edit the file sshd underscore config file go to the end of the file and paste these parameters the first line indicates that the members of this sftp users group will be allowed to use sftp users will be limited to their home directory and users can use only the sftp commands 
TCP forwarding and X11 forwarding will be disabled for, for those users. Now, save and close the file. Restart the SSH service in order to make these changes into the effect. So that run sudo systemctl restart SSH. Set the required permissions on the user's home directory using chown and chmode commands. Run sudo chown. Owner would be root root on the home directory of SFTP user. Set the permission as 755 using the chmode command 755 slash home sftp user next create a directory where the sftp user can upload the files so for creating a directory we can use the command mkdir slash home sftp user uploads is the directory name now set the ownership using the command chown sudo chown file owner would be a subtp user group owner would be a subtp underscore users subtp underscore users and the folder subtp uploads hit enter that's all from the configuration side we can test this sftp server for that what we can do is we can use a win SAP client that supports the sftp protocol but before that let make a note of your sftp server ip address for that you can run the command ip space a this is the ip address of my sftp server now start the WinHCP. Make sure this SFTP is selected under this file protocol section. Under this host name field, you can specify the host name of your SFTP server or the IP address. So I'm giving the IP address as 192.168.1.5. Port would be 22. Username would be SFTP user. And the password that you have set while creating this user click on login great I'm able to log in and this is the uploads folder that we have created just now now go to this upload folder first try to upload the file on this click on ok great the file has been uploaded successfully let's try to upload one more file The file has been uploaded successfully. This shows that our SFTP server configuration is working perfectly as expected. Now go back to our SFTP server, verify these files are uploaded into the uploads folder. cd slash home SFTP uploads. Great, I can see the files under the uploads folder. That's all from this video tutorial. I hope you have found it useful and informative. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials like this.